Welcome to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. I wasn't planning to visit that church today. Today I was trying to show you so many parts of the city beside that church. But like a magnet, that church is calling me. And although I, I have like hundreds of videos of that church, I will do. I will, I'm gonna do another one. I hope that that church will be uh, that uh, that video will be different because usually every video is different. Let's start with the facade of the church. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's start with everything here. It looks like a fortress, and indeed it is a fortress. The crusader that came to here was surrounded with so many uh, Muslims' enemy, and everything that they built, even churches, looks like a fortress. Uh, then this is the facade of it. Uh, one of the problems of that church is that it belongs to everyone except of the Protestant. Now they have so many uh, problems between the orders themselves. Um, then there are Catholic here, Greek Orthodox, Armenian, Copts, and more and more and more. Then so many problems. Although it's um, uh, I don't know if it's the end of, not the end of coronavirus, COVID-19. Uh, not a lot of uh, visitors are here, but more than uh, at the beginning of the COVID-19. Now let's go in. And let me tell you that inside the church, you can actually oh, visit a few important places. But one of the girls just fell. And I hope she's okay. No, she looks okay. Then, uh, right, she's okay, then I'm happy. The first thing that you can actually see here is the stone of the anointing. But that story is, um, we will talk about it later on because let's continue that story from the beginning. That Jesus walked with a cross on and they took him to the Golgotha hill which is uphill here it's not a very um, long hill high hill but it's very important one if you're talking about Mount the Temple Mount Mount Sinai this is another month that a very important thing happened then on top of it they um, took his clothes off uh, part of the Via Dolorosa station. If you are Catholic, you know what I'm talking about. Then let's climb that hill. It doesn't look like it now, but mainly because the Crusaders built here a plaza there because they wanted the disciples to see everything uh, from above. Then we are climbing the Catholic entrance. And first, the exit is Greek Orthodox. Remember, the church belongs to everyone. And it's empty. If you've been here with me or without me, you know how crowded that place is. Then the Golgotha, Calvary, divided into two. Greek Orthodox part, Catholic part. Let's start according to the order. First, That's when they stripped him from his clothes. We saw the chapel from, the, from outside the church. Look at the mosaic. I love to talk about that. Because you can see here, uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Gabriel. Abraham tried, or wanted to sacrifice Isaac for God. Uh, Gabriel stopped him from doing that. And instead of it, they sacrificed a goat, a lamb. That lamb will be Jesus later on, because he came to, con to finish the crucifixion for us. The mosaic wall and the beautiful icons and painting of the Greek Orthodox on you, because that church uh, been um, burned down at. 1808 and everything is new beside that mosaic 
of Jesus as the ruler of the world, and that's from 12th century. Another station of the cross is in front of you. You can see where they nailed Jesus to the cross. On top of it, you can see Mary, the mother. And here is Mary Magdalene anointing the body of Christ. In that beautiful picture, you can see the three Marys trying to support the mother. And John, the disciple, is next to them. And let's move to here. That is the crucifixion place. But until we reach there, in the Catholic part, you can see the Pietà. You can see Mary with the spear in her heart. When Mary was at the Jewish temple, Saint Simon told her at the presentation of the temple that her son will die in front of her eyes. It will be like a spear will enter to your heart. And here it is, the spear in her heart. And from that moment, Mary will never smile. Listen to the, you have the bells. Now we can hear the wood. For so many years, the Muslims didn't let uh, the Christian to use the bells, then instead of it, they used to knock on the wood. Here you can see the crucifixion place that is on top of the cross. You can see four letters in three languages Jesus from Nazareth, King of the Jews. To the right, you can see John. To the left, you can see the mother. While Jesus was on the cross, he asked John to take care of his mother. What you can see in front of you is the Golgotha, the Calvary, the bedrock. Here and there. And if you want to touch it, you have to go to here, put your hands in that small hole, and you will touch the exact place of the crucifixion. Look how beautiful are the stars and the angels. And look how beautiful the painting that actually tells us the story of Jesus in Jerusalem. Um, Herod, um, Pontus Pilate, laughing at Jesus, beating Jesus. Amazing, isn't it? You can actually stay here for hours. And it's so funny to say, so sad to say, it's quite empty. It's good for you because I can actually do that slowly. Usually when it's so crowded, they kick me out from that place. They're letting me to be here, let's say, for two or three minutes. Look at the Armenian monk. He will, he will go from one place to another and uh, use the incense next to it. Together with him, I mean, not together, but one after one, uh, you will see more different monks. Remember, that place belongs to everyone. And um, they are doing the same ceremonies, but different orders. We are walking down to the Greek Orthodox exit. And you can see a beautiful mosaic on the wall. Now you can see a Greek Orthodox. <laughs> one of my 